Full pages, New Briato, JDC Motorsports, Ipswich Bay Glass, sponsored Chevy Beretta for Kerry Heath out of Essex, Mass, in the number 12. And the number two, Gary Ziemba out of Manchester, New Hampshire, the Cornwell Tools sponsored car. The 22 grids next on the field. Charlie Russo out of Ipswich in this Securco Auto Security Hideaway Pump sponsored number 22. And the 28, that is James Brown of Barrington, Landry's Auto Salvage, Brad's Custom Auto Body, and Lee Circle Groceries, the sponsors there. The 17, J.R. Burrill, Great Bay Camping, the sponsors on that Pontiac Grand Prix. And the number 10 are Bob Patch. As they are underway, green flag, another 10 lap qualifier for the late models. Off the fourth turn and down the front stretch, Scott Sargent, the leader, but he's got Wayne Halliwell right with him. Halliwell in the 0-1. As they have checked out into a comfortable lead, Chris Sullivan runs third in the three. Richard Knight is fourth, Kerry Heath is fifth. Halliwell looks to the low side, but no room going into turn one. He'll try it again as he looks low out of turn two, down the back stretch, Sargent comes down to the bottom of the racetrack to hold him off. As Sargent pushes out of the turn, and comes back down trying to protect that racetrack. Helliwell again looks to the inside. And trouble in the first turn as Bob Patch is in the wall in turn one, caution flag is out. Yellow is out. And the black flag is out for the 22 of Charlie Russo. And evidently Russo involved in a little altercation on the racetrack, and he's been uh, disqualified by starter Don Horvath. As the black flag comes out, and Charlie wants to know why, and Donnie's giving him an explanation down there. Charlie Here they come. Green flag. This time Scott Sargent gets the jump, and he's the leader across the strike. Helliwell runs second in a battle for third. J.R. Burrell in the 17. And Chris Sullivan in the three. Burrell goes around on the outside and he goes to third. Scott Sargent is the leader and he's got two of the young Lions behind him. Second generation drivers, Wayne Helliwell Jr. And J.R. Burrell in the 17. They are side by side and right on the back bumper of Scott Sargent. He's got a mirror full of young talent. As Sargent, just a little bit high out of turn two. Helliwell looks low, Barilla up on the outside in the 17. They got their own battle going on for second, but they both got their sights set on first. Barilla on the high side, Helliwell on the inside. They'll have two laps to go this time, two to go. Scott Sargent's got his hands full with only two laps left, trying to use as much of the racetrack as possible and hold off Helliwell and Burrill as Burrill looks to the high side. Helliwell now, James Brown, another strong runner in the late model division, all right there. Four cars for the lead and one lap to go. Last chance to make a move as Scott Sargent trying to hold him off. Burrill looks to the high side, Helliwell to the inside. They're right on the back bumper. Burrill here comes James Brown, down to the checkered flag, Helliwell on the inside, Sargent wins it. Burrell finishes second, Helliwell for third, James Brown finishes fourth. What a race! Just an example of the outstanding competition in this late model division. As Scott Sargent had his hands full, but holds on to win. And J.R. Burrell, great move up on the outside to finish second. Wayne Halliwell for third.